This is actually an extraterrestrial vehicle, a very large one that was at the uh, Nellis North Range. We have the location of the helo pad. It's Delta Force manned. Uh, this occurred uh, back in that same era, around 2009, about 65 feet across. It's seamless, but it has sort of a clamshell uh, part of it. There was a, uh, a, a, a ramp that rolled out, like he said, like a fruit a roll-up that came out of it. And there was a, 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 a RV above it that was headed in lock. It was an electromagnetic lock on this object. I think it was stunned, and that's how it's brought down. Um, this is not infrequent. Uh, not every day, but not infrequent. I've said over the last 80 years, at least 122 have come down. So there are helicopters. He was on the team to pick up debris. This one was, of course, intact. It began to pulse and operate and came back to life, as it were. And uh, the entire uh, group that was there basically were put in some kind of a stasis electromagnetically Sounds like science fiction. Teleported back to the helo pad instantly. But before that happened, he had this meeting with two of these extraterrestrial biological entities, a male and a female. And this is a very accurate, according to the whistleblower uh, who needs to come forward uh, when there's adult protection, uh, they had no uh, penna, the ears outside, and had no hair. And there was a male and a female and it was made very clear to him by these beings that they were completely non-hostile. All extraterrestrial civilizations are non-hostile. If they were hostile, the technologies they have would have been made quite clear to us in August of 1945.